Beautiful Pacific Beach is one of San Diego's favorite beach towns and the home to the iconic historic Crystal Pier. There so you much see to it right there. see and do yes. at this place in our Then and Now series. News H Brian White explores what has changed in PB over the decades and what's remained timeless. Let's take a look at Pacific Beach then and now. From Mission Bay to the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Beach is an eclectic, fun-loving beach town with plenty of outdoor activities to choose from. Really nice, couple, you know, chest high sets. And whether you're at Crown Point Park or sitting atop the rolling green hills of Kate Sessions, there's no shortage of great places to take the family. The view is just awesome from here. You could see the entire Mission Bay Park. And whether you're biking, skating, or just walking, there's never a dull moment at the PB Boardwalk. Back in 1987, reporter Connie Healy profiled Pacific Beach on Channel 8. This is how most of us view Pacific Beach. The people who live here may view it a little differently. How would you describe it to somebody that's never been here before? I don't know, paradise, I guess. It's a great place to live. Nearly 35 years later, you'll still find people feeling the same way about PB. You know the same when they say living the dream? Well, we're literally doing that here. It's a great place to live. Hands down, the most popular person at the beach in 2021 is everyone's favorite joy-riding rollerblader and retired neurologist, Slow Mo. I say he's a minor celebrity. He, he is an icon of Pacific Beach. I think I have, maybe I have a little crush on him, yeah. Slow Mo is traditional, yeah, he's still up and going. I think he's got it right, you know, the key to longevity is to stay active, be out there on the boardwalk. Over the years and decades, one landmark in PB has remained iconic. The Crystal Pier Hotel and Cottages continues to be a worldwide destination for vacationing families. It is Pacific Beach. I mean, everything about it is it's the focal point. It is really a nice gathering place, and uh, so many families have come here for so long. And right across the boardwalk, you'll find one of the most popular breakfast spots in town. Konos at the pier has been around since 1991. Everything is amazing. The food's great, uh, the vibe's cool. This is Staple of San Diego. Today, one of the big success stories in Pacific Beach is just how far the schools have come since the 80s. The Mission Bay cluster of schools is unique in the way that the elementary, middle, and high school levels are all connected with continuous curriculums and the IB or International Baccalaureate programs, which provide advanced level holistic learning for students. I think the community really realized that the, at the heart of any community is great schools. After several years of construction, Pacific Beach Middle School opened new classroom facilities this school year. We have a brand new state-of-the-art classroom building that is designed for today's learning and with that our kids are more focused, more engaged. Principal Kimberly Mang tells me that during the construction of this new building they found something interesting. The construction company unearthed a time capsule that was buried in 80 and it said open in 2021. We don't know what's in it just yet, but they'll be opening it in December. We're really excited to find out what's inside. And if you're wondering what PB housing prices were like in 1987. A nice three bedroom would go for two and a quarter. That's $225,000 according to real estate agent Leonard Drake at the time. Today in 92109, which also includes Mission Beach, the median sale price for a single family home is about $1.7 million dollars according to the San Diego Association of Realtors. Incredibly, it's just here on the beach, it's always going to be expensive. Looking ahead as the construction for the new trolley station nears completion, Eastern Pacific Beach near Interstate 5 will be seeing new development in the decades to come with the higher density allowed in areas near public transit. <laughs> Here at the new and long-awaited Balboa Avenue trolley station, when it opens to the public later this month, Pacific Beach will be more connected than ever to the rest of the San Diego region. I'm Brian White for News 8.